Hi, my loves. This is going to be a really quick full moon in Virgo reading. What are you doing in there? There's a couple cards in here. My reading earlier, what does this say? <gasps> it was going to be like, what do you need to release? Look at this, you guys. There's never any accidents. The Ten of Fire, this is literally overworked, stressed, and an imbalance. This is someone who's carrying a heavy load and way too many burdens on their shoulders. They feel exhausted. They're done. They want to lay these burdens down, okay? The King of Fire is inspirational, charismatic, and innovative. The King of Fire is someone who knows themselves. They're confident. They're courageous. And they take action on things, okay? You have a lot of passion here with these, right? Even though they were in this deck. So there's something here. Obviously, the full moon is the end of a phase. It's all about releasing. So the Ten of Fire and the King of Fire, this is about stepping into your... Into your um, fiery energy and doing what needs to be done in order to move forward. Release the cycles. Clear your mind. See, some of you guys are literally like this. Man, woman, it doesn't matter. Put your situations where they go. This is exhaustion. This is, I am, I'm carrying so much on my shoulders. I carry the weight of the world. I have so much responsibility. I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. King of fire. This is also extreme passion. So for some of you guys, you could be dealing with someone who is, there's a lot of passion between you guys, you know, da, 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 but I am hearing that like it's, it's, it's fizzled out or something. So it's almost as if you're trying to hold on, but it feels burdensome. So it's time to release. The full moon is about release. It's the end of a phase, the end of a cycle. So is a 10 of fire. All the tens in the tarot is the end. Ends bring beginnings. Clear your mind. Last quarter moon in Gemini. It's time to clear your mind. Spirit says, meditate, spend time in nature, do breath work, put up boundaries, put up borders with people who are energy vampires who just drain your energy, right? Release control. You cannot make this stuff up. Spirit is saying, clear your mind, release control, release situations that are no longer serving you, right? That's what this is about. Another moon. This is goddess of the moon oracle. Spirit, what else for the collective? Abundance. You see, you have to release all these stagnant energies, negative energies, old energies, old cycles. Things that are not serving you in your life. Are you growing? Are you happy? Are you ascending? Are you thriving? Are you all these things? Or are you just plateaued? <laughs> just doing same shit different day same shit different day so mundane so unhappy just cycle 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 you need to break all this you guys so that you can receive this your divine inheritance your divine abundance i want you to notice this is a full moon we have 38 which breaks down to an 11 we have 15 on the bottom of the deck which breaks down to a six it's time for you to take action so you receive your abundance a lot of you guys are taking action on things in your life and you're planting seeds and your abundance is coming in but this is really big on releasing right now you guys really big on taking action to release and to trust to trust that everything is working out in your highest and greatest good always you're protected you're protected you see all right and then let's just get a romance angel because i can definitely feel some exhaustion tied to romance in that card especially with the king of fire something about you know sex it's like all you guys have left is sex everything else is gone see forgiving and learning literally it says as you release as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment it's time to release what's not serving you so that you can receive your and your divine inheritance your abundance so that you can be happy separation see it's time to separate from someone who's draining you time apart from your partner is on the horizon that's what that one says for some of you guys you have been releasing and this is what this is what's coming in a reconciliation see with someone from your past who returns to your life they want to disconnect and retreat you guys um now, for those of you who are in a connection, this separation is vital because there's an abundant, beautiful um, connection. Reconciliation is past life soulmate, probably, for most of you. Someone you've known in past lives. Someone who you've been married to before in past lives, even. 
either way you guys it's time to clear so that new can come in right so this is what i have for you my loves happy full moon